Hi friends, I have a lot of videos on the channel with the process of assembling all sorts of power banks, from the introduction of ready-made models to fully homemade designs. In today's video, I will show a really cool construction of the power bank, which can compete with the best industrial devices. What is a power bank? This is a backup power source consisting of batteries, a stabilizer circuit and a battery charging unit. The stabilizer circuit is the most important component of the whole device. Here you can see one of the popular boards of step-up stabilizers. We connect to the input of this board the lithium-ion battery of 3.7 volts and got at the output 5 volts. This voltage is charged almost all smartphones and other portable gadgets. The Chinese manufacturer claims a maximum output current of 2 amperes, but I must say that at such currents this board feels extremely uncomfortable. My goal was to create a step-up regulator which could provide an output current of at least 4 amperes. This is enough to charge 4 smartphones at the same time, and also high efficiency and low no current are required. As a result, this construction was born. I coped well with all the tasks, stable and most importantly for a long time, it can give 4 to 5 amperes without a significant output voltage drop and the idle current is only 30 milliamperes. There is nothing special in the circuit. Earlier I have already shown and explained the principle of operation of a step-up DC-DC converter. In the description is a link to the mentioned video. I advise you to study it. The printed circuit board of my version is quite large. It is homemade using the laser printer and ordinary iron, but you can order a printed circuit board at the factory. For this, you just need to go to the GLCPCB website to download file of the board in Gerber format, select the options you need, pay the order and wait for the parcel. Prices are very low, beginning from $2 for 10 pieces and there is free shipping for the first order. A link to GLCPCB can be found in the description. The converter is built on the basis of the PWM controller chip UC3843. There is a stabilization of the output voltage and a protection against short circuits. The output voltage in this case is set around 5 volts, but with a trimmer you can set a different value if needed. Input voltage of 3.7 volt is supplied from lithium ion batteries, but the controller UC3843 can't work from such a low voltage. To start it needs at least 8 volts and for stable operation from 10 to 12. To power that PWM chip in the circuit involved a separate low power converter. A tent was a board of MT3608 which was used having preliminary set 12 volt at the output. In principle, instead of MT3608, you can use any other low power boost converter, even this type, which is completely on transistors. The power element of our circuit is a field effect transistor. Again, my choice was based on IRFZ44. I have a lot of them, they are cheap. I like them and they are ideal for our purposes. Output rectifier is an assembly of double Schottky diodes. In principle, any Schottky diodes with a current of 10 or more amperes are suitable, so that there will be at least a double current reserve. The voltage increases due to the chalk. The core was taken from the output filter of the computer power unit. The dimensions are now in front of you. The winding is wound by a wire of 1.2 mm. It is desirable to take a wire from 1.5 mm. The number of turns is 5 to 6. That's all. I only forgot to mention that this converter starts its work from the input voltage of 1.5 volts. This is a big plus. If you want, your smartphone can be charged even from one battery. But the disadvantage is that in the case of lithium-ion batteries, our converter can discharge them too low and they can fail. So an additional protection board is required with a current of protection of at least 7 amperes. Well, now sit back, prepare a cup of tea or coffee and enjoy.
After a complete assembly, by rotating the trimmer, we need to set the voltage at the output about 5 volts. To the input, of course, I've had 3.7 volts simulating a lithium-ion battery. The no-load current is only 30 mA. Now we load all four ports and let's see what happens. The battery consumption is almost 5 amperes. All gadgets are charging, which can't but rejoice. Pay attention, power transistor and diode rectifier without a radiator. And I must say that the temperature on them in 5 minutes of operation in this mode didn't rise above 55 degrees Celsius. The output voltage of about 5 volts almost doesn't drop. But friends, this all is not significant. We will make real measurements in the next video. It will come out in a few days. We will assemble the device finally and see what will be the efficiency, what is the maximum output current, and finally we will assemble the charger for this giant. By the way, our power bank can simultaneously be charged and charge gadgets. Trifle, but factory products aren't up to it. Friends, all the necessary links can be found in the description, including links to the purchase of ready-made boards. The picture of printed circuit board is also in the description, so download, make and use this great thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my group in Facebook. The link is under the description. Well, if this video was useful, share it with your friends in social webs, rate it and wait for the release of the second part. Now I say goodbye until new meetings. With you was Kaysian TV.